So the new Mac OS operating system, 10.10 uh, .10 Yosemite, comes with a really cool feature called iCloud Drive, which uh, similar to, I guess, your other providers such as you know, Dropbox and, and Google Drive, etc. But what it lets you do is it just works seamlessly between your Macs uh, and even non-Mac devices um, and lets you copy data into a drive that is essentially in the cloud. So you can actually back up some data and it's on the cloud and you can access that data from really anywhere in the world without a problem. So to do this, what you have to do is you have to enable iCloud Drive on your computer. So you need to open up System Preferences, which is, I've got it in my taskbar, otherwise it will be in Apple System Preferences in there. Uh, once that opens up, you want to go to iCloud, okay? Now, I've already signed in, so it's not going to look the same for you, but you may already have signed in if you have, say, a previous version of Mac OS. If it's the first time, you'll have to sign in and configure it and get your, your iCloud account configured. So, you'll see iCloud is listed here, okay? Mine is ticked. So what you need to do is you need to sign up, uh, firstly sign in with your iCloud uh, credentials and then tick on iCloud Drive. Now you'll see down the bottom here, it says that I have five gig of iCloud storage. So by default, when you have an iCloud account, that's how much storage you have. If you want more storage than five gig, then you'll need to pay a certain amount um, to actually increase your, your data uh, storage on iCloud. So for me, I think five gig is enough. At least I can I can copy my important documents into there, uh, which is fantastic. So once I've signed up, you can set up iCloud ticket, and then you're good to go on that front. Another feature that you'll see on Yosemite as well is when you open up your Finder, you will now see iCloud listed in here. All right. So in here, you've already, you can already see that I've got three folders that have been created for me. Uh, so pages, that's where I have my pages and my numbers documents and also some text edit files. So just some plain text files as well. So what you can actually do is you can copy data into your iCloud Drive and it will show up in your iCloud uh, from anywhere in the world. So let's say for example, Let's go into my desktop and there's this uh, file here. So we're going to copy that and go back into iCloud Drive and paste it. Okay, so what that's going to do is that has now put it up on iCloud Drive. Now this file was pretty small so it shouldn't take too long to upload it. But if you put in a larger file, depending on your internet connection, it may take some extra time to upload. Okay, so that's just something you need to be mindful of. Is depending on the file size, it may take a little bit extra time to upload. So you gotta you gotta keep in mind that this iCloud drive is not um, sitting on your computer, right? It's it's actually online. So um, when you copy stuff into it, it has to upload it to a server somewhere that Apple has, uh, the iCloud server, and uh, you'll be able to access that from anywhere. So to access that, say, from another computer, so let's say, for example, this is another computer, uh, a Windows computer perhaps, or, or whatever, uh, you want to sign on with your Apple ID, which is the same that you use to sign on to here. Okay, so let's just sign in. depending on what you want to do. I'm going to say not now, for now. And you're going to be presented with this window here. You may have seen this before, but now in the new OS, there's a iCloud Drive icon listed, which you can click on and you'll see your iCloud Drive, essentially all your storage, okay? Now you'll see that there's a few other folders in here, all right, which don't appear in here. And that's simply because if I open that up, it's empty. 
Okay, so if I copy data into there, uh, it'll fill up. All right. So there is the screenshot file that we copied in. Okay. So let's just do this. Let's just drag this down here so we can actually see. So let's say I want to upload something. I'm on a computer somewhere else in the world and I want to up upload something to iCloud. So let's click on upload and go to, let's upload that. Choose. Okay, so that's going to upload it. And if you see down here, it's just shown up on my local computer. All right, so this iCloud here, this is online, and you see I've just uploaded that one, and it's just shown up in here. All right, and that's how iCloud works.